What's up guys? Lesbian Gamer here. Today we are playing Watch Dogs 2. Already played through it once. We'll be playing it through a second time. Now that I know what to do, I'm hoping I can make the game maybe a little bit more smoother, you know, with gameplay. Do things right. If not, who gives a fuck? Let's just get stuck straight into it. Initiation retro. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to bypass Bloom security doors and get inside. Then find and erase your personal CTOS profile. Whatever they have on me, it's all bullshit, and I'm sick of getting harassed for it. All the more reason for a purge. We'll be watching. Try to keep up. All right. Now I'm going to do this as stealthily as possible, but as quickly as possible, because I'd love to keep this video under 15 minutes. No real tips and tricks on this video, guys. More of a let's play. You know. Do what we have to do and then get moving. Let's whack him out. Sweet. Just all mate down there. Right. So select the gun, hold the D pad up, release it. Oh, really? Really? Good night. Ah, oh. it's always the way. Oh, I need him. I Don't call do for help. <laughs> We're good. Okay, keep moving. That's what I mean. I'm on a time limit, guys. I've got to get this done quickly. For you, for you guys that haven't played Watch Dogs, you press the right analog stick on your Xbox or PS4 you'll find uh, you'll come up to doors like this which will have that red lock on it. Uh, press that analog stick in you'll see this red line um, usually you want to follow it until you get up to this little box up here you can unclick it if you want keep it on basically it's an access control point so to unlock that it'll unlock the door sometimes you'll have uh, hacking tools that you might need to hack off a, a, a guard or um, a, just a random person uh, but yeah but we'll get more into that as the game goes along you're wasting your time he's not in gotcha so that's him He's got a gun. Is that a problem? Well, problems are why you keep me around, right? Time him. I'm curious. Too late. He's in. Already? Don't play out on that. I have no idea. Nuh uh. No synonyms either. Give me a real answer. I'm just not that into aliens or video games. It's not just any alien. It's oh, come on. Anyone else having a problem with their phone? Ooh, what? Oh god. Oh god. Ah! Ah! I'm curious to know what then uh, is on the end of that rope there to knock them out. Is it like an eight ball or retro? Uh, it's the like whole a. Domain awareness it's like it's got some skulls on it. Retro? I don't know if you yes. guys can see that, we but told you that already? yeah, I never yeah, looked. like a skull. Must be like a. I don't know, maybe a pool ball that's been modified? I don't know. Either way, so again we come up to doors like this with a red key. So in this state, there's no one around and as you see there's a little red key up there. 
that we need to access. So uh, what we'll do is we'll access the cameras. Yep. So that's the laptop that we need. Um, simply, obviously, to tell you just to hold the uh, left bumper down and press A and then that's it. Uh, you want to press B to back out and it's as simple as that. So this is not going to be a tutorial the whole way through, just more or less at the start of the game. Um, you know, I'll give my my opinion on different things to do, especially when it comes to multiplayer online hacking. I have my own method of doing things. Um, usually with a big big place like this, you want to like hit that analog stick and look for cameras. Um, if you want to do it the right way, um, obviously they're the two guards that we just knocked out. You want to start um, scoping the people out just to mark them red. Obviously, that's me just there. Whenever you're doing this, make sure you're behind cover. Where I am is probably not too bad, but depending on the guards, routes, etc. Um, so, yeah, so we just want to move in between each camera. Uh, scope around. So there's one guy there, one guy there. So we'll go to the next camera. Two guys, three. And we'll wait for old mate to come down here. No? Doesn't want to move. Uh, probably the wrong camera to go to. It's alright, we'll just keep moving through him. Where'd he go? Oh, okay, so there's a couple of guys up there. Let's see if I can. Might be a camera. Oh, no, hang on. We're getting somewhere, it's alright. Uh, we just had that camera. There we go. Don't think we've got the other guy yet, but we'll go. Looks like he's a couple of floors down. Um, yeah, he's one more floor down, so we'll just go to the next camera. Figure him out. See, he's still on that floor. Turn around. I'm not going to be able to get him, but we need to do this quickly. Alright. Let's... You know he's there. So what's his deal? He was raised in Oakland, but was born in... <laughs> his deal is, he's been hanging around the desk like there's at least one extra guard. Figured we'd give him a test those guys, those guys. On the hardest guys. difficulty. Nobody's been able again. to delete their CTOS profile man. before. I want to see if he's smart, We won't knock him out because he gets discovered. both. From a different, I'm pretty sure when he sort of goes, I think just about there, he'll see old mate just knocked out here. So what we'll do, is we'll sneak around. We might go on the far side. It looks like there'll be less people that way. Uh, let's just move quickly. Just remember to take cover. Um, go slowly through things, guys. Um, so three people upstairs. Just want to play, maybe stop for a second. Uh, one guy. Um, that other fella should be somewhere. Nope. There. There. See what I mean? If we go to this camera, and I'll just mark him, because you also got to be careful of uh, this guy stopping and watching you, because he will see you through that glass. Okay, so he's gone. Move quickly up the stairs again. Wait for old mate to move. But essentially that's where we need to be. Uh, just wondering. So he stops there for a second. I may need to take this guy out here. take the other guy out. I'm hoping that no one sees anything because what I'll do is I'll wait for him to come back towards me. Actually, I might even get away with it. Actually, don't, don't, no, 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 no. Oh, this is what I mean. You just don't know. CTOS tagged him as the prime suspect in the high tech That's alright. What we'll do is we'll stay back. He's done time. Just watch him come up. What we might do is just go up another CTOS level. As long as you're up another level, because obviously we've triggered the alarm down on the bottom, one level down, so they'll only be looking there. So if you can avoid maybe going. Holy shit! 
Alright. Gotta get the up anyway, we'll so that's time plus. Uh, we just need to map out, see one more guy. Get eyes on him. No, he doesn't want to. Okay. That's alright. You guys don't always have to have that right analog stick um, pushed in. I just find it easier, especially when I'm trying to find like different uh, electrical devices. Uh, why are we jumping? There we go. He's going in the hot aisle. It's at least 120 degrees in there. Man, props. It's going the mile. So, I believe we have to drop down a couple levels. I think it uh, depends on who's around. I might be able just to drop straight down. Um, looks like, yep, maybe if I can be quick about it. And then come back here. Remember, you also always got to watch the people that can see you through the windows. That's the thing. If you want to do this quietly. I mean, by all means, just go hack the friggin' thing. Because if you actually have a look, I'll show you in a second once he leaves. There you go. If you actually have a look, you hack that. In the previous Watch Dogs, uh, you used to actually go to a separate screen and do this. Now that it's all um, technically kind of cables underneath the flooring, to so that this is just rerouting some of the cables. Ethernet, I mean, I don't even know if they're cables. To me, that's what they are. What the fuck? Why is my threat so high? Bullshit. Fuck. Or I could just delete all of the criminal history. That'd be good. If only it was that easy for some people. So at this point, don't, you know, take your time with it, because um, obviously this is the multiplayer point of thing, so create a new profile. So this is what you'll actually look like on, on multiplayer as well. No idea why there's a female, but we'll just go with, I don't even know. Yeah, this guy seems right. Just gonna drop a little back door into the system so I can get back inside later. Sorry, Bloom. We've got unfinished business. He's heading out. Bag him. Yeah. This guy here, flashlight. No flashlight on. But uh nice big um down light there. <laughs> so, uh, as for distracting guards and that sort of thing, you'll come across these like uh, electrical boxes. 
just hold LB, press X to put a field up so that will, um, so they could walk straight in there and it'll blow up or you could just press B and when it zaps it'll attract them and boom. Bear in mind that it may actually alert some of the guards so if there's a guard within close proximity he will go to that area so you need to be prepared for that as well uh, obviously you know uh, melee would be the most quietest technique um, but that's not always the case uh, so see how this guy will yeah so if we just let him calm down a little bit Same thing with doors, if they're in close proximity they'll hear it. Um, see how that guy's just come up running? He'll come straight to that door. Uh, it's also a good, um, good tactic to um, draw them close to you if you want to, if you need melee. Because we actually need to go down a few levels to uh, escape so we just need to wait. Ugh. It's a high chance I'm going to fuck this up but um, you can just run straight to the exit at this stage. Uh, we just gotta make sure. Same thing, if you guys want to do this properly, just look for the electrical boxes and take your time. But, uh, this is just a quick walkthrough gameplay tutorial, whatever you want to do. Same thing as there's a guy just there. Um, we're gonna have to get through that. So they're gonna most likely come straight up here. Four people, really? Because I really just want to drop down there and yeah. Come on, come on. We might. I don't think there's. Oh yeah. I'm gonna watch. See what I mean? You gotta watch. To do this properly. Everyone's going downstairs. Maybe if I go the opposite way. Might have to do this sort of slow way. And I'm spotted. This is when we're just gonna go. Boom. Oh shit. Just run. Like I said, just jump across. Not gonna hurt too much. That's alright. Oops. Make sure you don't go the wrong way like I did. Just run straight in there. Same thing. So yeah, yeah, just run straight to the exit. Hold it right there. Help him. Where the fuck am I gonna go? Josh. Okay. Okay. You bloom. In 2013, Chicago realized the promise of smart cities with CTOS, a citywide operating system merging big data with surveillance, security, and transit programs. With a few hundred lines of code, hackers were able to hijack its central servers and cripple the entire grid. Many believed the attack would be a killing blow for smart city development. They were wrong. Coordinated from the heart of Silicon Valley, CTOS 2.0 has been implemented across the United States, ushering in the Internet of Things. 6.4 billion connected devices now serve as collection points, mapping and recording our daily routines, making a more secure and more invasive system. But who else is listening? Big Brother no longer works alone. Thousands of little brothers monitor and aggregate your every move building a complete digital profile of you to be bought, sold, or stolen in an instant. Toys study your children, reporting their play habits back to marketers. Appliances, consoles, and home security systems give corporations a window into your private life. Control of your vehicle and mobile device can now be breached remotely by anyone at any time. You may think that you are immune or underestimate the risk, but your digital shadow is already compromised. Insurance companies use algorithms to monitor your life habits and limit or deny coverage. Health providers determine if your cancer 
is worth treating. Search results and news fees are skewed to bias mood and influence your vote, engineering social uprisings on a massive scale. You are now less valuable than the data you produce. Data you produce. This is the new reality. Going dark is no longer an option. With threats to personal freedom rising, many are stepping forward. Whistleblowers, activists, and hackers have drawn their battle lines, putting the establishment on watch. But are they threats themselves, or have they become freedom's last line of defense? Freedom's last line of defense. So, am I in? Welcome to Dead Sec. I'm Satara. This sweetheart is Josh, AKA Hot Sauce. Yo, you're Hot Sauce? Yo, man, I loved your frat house hat. Real talk. Thanks. This weirdo's wrench. The needs of the many. And this Casanova is Horatio. What's up, brother? What's up, man? It's the crew, huh? Took y'all long enough to come get me. Shit. You saw Bloom's bullshit. CTOS isn't just regulating infrastructure. The amount of personal data that thing is collecting is fucking mind-blowing. Yeah. It's big brother and little brother all rolled up into one. Huh? Sees everything you do and tells on you. Thank you, Josh. So what's the fix? Sledgehammers and fire. No! Sledgehammers on fire. <laughs> All of that data in one place means they can reject your fucking application before you click on it. Congratulations, you have been free rejected for our credit card. Or your house, or your insurance. That's not even the worst case scenario. All that data in the hands of the government? They'll arrest you for shit before you even do it. Yeah, I've been there. I don't fucking know why. Man, fuck it! Fuck it, man! We're hackers. We, we out there. We out there. I, I say we tear down the fucking wall. Hey, show everyone what... What Bloom's up to, man. Show, show the world that their personal data is being used to rob them of their fucking freedoms. Fuck. I installed a back door, so all we gotta do is walk right through. Uh, hold on. What? He installed the back door, so all we have to do is walk through. Bingo. Hey, man. Do you have the time? Oh, yeah, man. I, I got it. I got it. It's kind of late for a night run, isn't it? Hey, what, are you, what are you running from the cops? <laughs> Maybe I am one. Hey, hey you, you look familiar. <laughs> Have a good party. That's a character to watch. We'll explain more in the series. This Fuck you, Bloom. I'm gonna go have a goddamn good time. Hello? Whose phone is this? It's your new phone. Where's my phone? In the ocean, where you threw it, I think. I don't remember. I was pretty smashed. Look, meet us at the hacker space. Where? Check your pics and figure it out. Whose place am I in?
Alright guys. That is going to be the end of part one. Um, just a little tutorial walkthrough gameplay as I said. Um, this is going to be a very long series so if you guys are going to stick around. Thumbs up to you guys. Thank you very yeah. much for tuning in. Um, Guess I was lit, we huh? will take off from <laughs> like this Mardi point Gras. next time. Go get yourself so, um, and I'll tell you where to go. Yeah, have a great day. Oh. Uh, let's be announced. Get your phone ready for operations. So hit the store and download your apps before you get here. Damn. Damn.